Later this week, officials from NASA plan to crash a rocket and U.S. spacecraft on the moon. KXLY Force Jeff Humphrey joins us live with a look at the LCROSS, or Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite Mission. Jeff? It's a big word, but you know, Chris, this is the first time that we have reached out to touch the moon in the past 10 years. And unfortunately, our rekindle relationship is going to be rather violent. That's because we're taking an empty booster rocket and sending it to the moon's south pole right about there at 6,000 miles per hour. Now, the subsequent impact is going to add a small crater to the moon's surface and at the same time dislodge about 350 tons of lunar landscape out into space. About four minutes later, the shepherding spacecraft is going to fly into that plume of ejected material and test it for the presence of water. Now, the prospect of finding some water there is pretty good. That's because the bullseye right there for this lunar assault is a low-lying spot in an existing crater sheltered from the sun, and that may have collected some water over the years. Finding water on the moon would be a really big deal because you can make rocket fuel out of it. The space shuttle uses a combination of hydrogen and oxygen, and any future space colonies could also use it because right now our astronauts are being forced to drink their own recycled urine. Now, this big bang on the moon happens early Friday morning at 4.30 a.m., and Spokane resident and NASA Ambassador Joe Bruce wants you to be able to see it through one of his telescopes. You'll find him at the Hamlin Park Presbyterian Church at Crestline and Thurston up on the South Hill. We will have a crew there as well and have updates for you on Good Morning Northwest right here on KXLY4. Fascinating. That is so cool. Yes. Set your alarm. Get up. Bundle up.